Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, everyone inside and outside of those categories. Welcome to Lauren's 8 Minute Abs. Hashtag Lauren's 8 Minute Abs. We are on day 13, lucky day 13. And you can see I have a big piece of equipment behind me. We do need that today. If you don't have access to a sit-up bench like this one where you can hook your feet in, I do recommend you revisit one of our other 12 days and find a workout that has the equipment that suits you. So, four exercises. Our first one is going to be a standard sit-up on the sit-up bench. Number two, we're gonna be doing a standing oblique crunch. We've done that one before. Option to hold a weight plate or a dumbbell in your hand as you do it. Number three, we're going to be doing uh, the leg pop-ups on the sit-up bench. And number four, we'll finish with kettlebell swings. It's really work that posterior chain of muscles. So the muscles that run down the back of your body. Okay, let me demo. Number one. All right, I'm gonna hold the handle here while I get safely in, tuck my feet under the rollers. And we're doing a standard sit-up here. So hands at temple, not pulling on the back of my neck. And we're going to sit all the way up and then lower back down under control. Two, down under control. Your option, if you want a bonus here, would be to grab a weight, a plate or a dumbbell, hold it on your chest, and up you go. All right, exercise number, exercise number two, standing oblique slides. We're going to hold a plate or a dumbbell, and I'm going to slide as you come up, contract the opposing side. Down and up, down and up. All right, down and up, down and up. Now, if you're not doing it for time, you're gonna to look to do about seven reps per side or 14 in total. And that big setup under control, you're looking to do 12 sit-ups. Okay, number three, the leg pop-up. You're actually going to turn yourself around, grab the bar with your hands, extend your legs, and then you're going to bring them up and lower under control. Protect your lower back, so only lower your legs as far as you can while maintaining contact with the bench and your back. Oh, and that's a tricky one. If you're not doing it for time, you're looking to do 12 control reps. And number four, kettlebell swing. If you don't have a kettlebell, you can substitute a dumbbell. So, feet shoulder width apart, engage the core, neck neutral. I'm gonna sit my booty back, flat back, grab the kettlebell, and swing. If you're not doing it for 30 seconds, you're looking to do 15 reps. All right, let's get into it. Get into position on your sit-up bench. Tuck those feet, and we will begin in three, two, one, here we go. So exhale on the way up, inhale on the way down. It's a big movement, lots of opportunity to engage your core the whole way. Getting ready to stand up and do the obliques. You can even grab your kettlebell for this if you have one. There's 15 seconds, so we'll switch sides. Option, of course, after the first round, you do an entire round on one side and an entire round on the other. Okay, our leg pop up. This is a challenging one, don't forget to breathe. Kettlebell swings. Remember, 
remember you're not swinging any higher than the height of your shoulders. That's it. Time. Round one is done. Stretch it all out. Okay. This is the early morning lighting effect at my gym. I know I'm a little bit in shadow. I'm just trying to sit in the right spot. All right, 30 seconds left on our first break. Do please let me know what you think of this workout. You can comment on the video. You can email me, thegoldengramgirl at gmail.com. Find me on Facebook, The Golden Graham Girl or tag me on Instagram at the Golden Graham Girl. All right, I'm gonna get into position. Remember, if you're not doing it for time, we're looking to do 12 reps. All right, get ready for that standing oblique slide. There we go. I'll do it with a dumbbell this time. So lengthen and squeeze. Lengthen through the opposing side and squeeze back up. There's 15 seconds if you're gonna switch. Again, picturing a rubber band going from your hip up to your shoulder. Picture it lengthening and contracting. All right, the leg pop up. Really engage that core so your lower back stays in contact with the bench. swings and I'm done with this with a dumbbell. All right, same form. If you're not doing this for time, we're looking to do 15 reps. Round two, and round number three is coming up, and we'll be done. Fantastic. Oh my. Does anyone have a favorite day so far? I'd love to hear what it is. Uh, any day that's really challenging you, any exercises you'd like me to revisit, any exercises you hope I won't be revisiting, do please let me know. And let's just enjoy our last 15 seconds before we get into our final round. We're really gonna push hard here. I'm gonna take on the challenge, I'm gonna hold a weight. One of these sit -ups. All right, here we go. Up. 
All right, switching. Last round, do the legs pop up? Really engage that core at all times. Challenge yourself. Can those legs lower down anymore? Can you pop it up with more power? Little swings. Got a little demo from the other side this time. Is quick and fun. Have a lovely start to your week. Have a great day. Look forward to hearing from you. And not only a great day, but have a fit day. <laughs>